Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel guys. Guys, if you're new to this channel and just stopping through, please go ahead and click the subscribe button and become a Lola. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And don't forget that if you want to be a member of the chat box, the link is in the description bar if you do not see a join button next to the subscribe button. The chat box is a paid membership that costs a dollar and ninety nine cents. You do have to be at least 18 years old to join. Also, guys, just so you know, those live streams in the chat box does stay up for a period of time, at least 30 days. Sometimes I get lazy and forget and they're up for a couple months. But they do stay up if you miss it. But um, of course the fun is to join in on the live streams that I do once a month with that crowd. Um, the other thing, if you're not following me on Instagram, please go follow me on Instagram. It is Miss Serenity Smith. And then the other way, I am also on Facebook um, my page is usually pretty full, but I do have a doll chat club, which is Miss Serenity Smith Chat and Doll Club, and then Doll Chat Club, and then um, Miss Serenity Smith Babies .com. All that I know it was a lot, but the main thing is to um, follow me here, subscribe, share this video, and don't forget that I am doing a promo giveaway of a reborn baby and you have to go back to previous videos but don't click off just yet anyway so today i'm going to show you guys what aspen by claire teller is going to be wearing so for those that may be new to my channel you may or may not know but i am one of the chosen prototype artists for claire teller's new kit abby and aspen um and they the pre-orders will come out um i in a couple of weeks I think um, I'm just waiting on the details um, and we're also I'm pretty sure she wants you guys to see the other versions of the sculpt as well um, the sculpts as well so there's a, another there's other prototype artists out there that um, has to show their babies first as well so Anyway, guys, um, a lot of questions, a lot of questions. A lot of people are asking me if Aspen is going to be for sale. You guys know me. I am a greedy collector. It's probably why I can't do too many prototypes because I be wanting to keep them all to myself. However, I have decided, though, if I don't um, sell Aspen, I will do a... Um, I will do a couple to sell, maybe possibly take a few private orders. I haven't totally decided on that part. I think I probably would like to just paint and sell um, a few of the kits. But I wanted to show you what he's going to be wearing today. This little outfit, these little pants, and then I'm going to put I'm going to put him on this little onesie, and it says, what does it say? The perfect day for adventure. You guys can see that. So it's a little onesie onesie. And this is his little boots. And it has the little white furry stuff in the inside. I didn't get him any socks. I didn't bring him any socks. Okay. He may be okay to wear it without socks. I try not to do stuff to make sure they don't have you know get no dye on the bottom of their feet or anything like that but yeah so he's gonna wear his little boots if they look right so now i'm gonna show you aspen aspen is 19 inches long i think his head circumference is about 13 and a half inches he has a perfect newborn shape head this baby actually um looks good ball or rooted but he has been rooted i'm sure you guys have seen me flooding out photos of him if you guys also don't follow the community tab. I post on a community tab a uh, picture sometime when I can't get videos up. But his hair is rooted to where it's it curl, it can be curly or more straight. His hair is bone dry right now. But as you can see, and it has a nice shine to it. Um of course I had him professionally rooted for me um by sentimental babies guys please don't attack her because she already have like 20 babies in here for me and y'all not getting no spot because <laughs> <Ugh. laughs> <laughs> i'm just playing okay um 
but yeah um he also comes with the um the tummy plate he has like a half tummy plate which is pretty cool um so you can make him girl or boy he has a open mouth and it's very well sculpted inside gums tongue so it's pretty cool um but he doesn't need a let me see what you guys can see. He doesn't need. He, he doesn't need a, a, a magnet. So he doesn't have a magnet. <laughs> I waited him to be, you know, very floppy. And new, so because he's so newborn. You can't him just want to sleep, mama. He don't want you to wake him up. His expressions change depending on the angle that he's laying. In the angle of the photo like he can be very calm but then he can look like he's about to fuss so he's just like his mommy like he is so irritable he don't like people bothering him you right <laughs> so um but yeah i think it's so cool that he has top and bottom gums and that little tongue in there like his mouth is so freaking detailed it's so cute you know we don't usually get that all the time in reborns. So when we do, I always, you know, sorry, I make a big fuss about it. Um, yeah, so I made him, even though he's a, um, he's like a pecan tan, I don't know. Even though he's a little chocolate chip baby, I don't know, would he be chocolate chip? Is that the color of chocolate chip cookies? I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> he um he does his skin looks to be pretty model. Um I tried to capture it in photos, but I don't know if I did a good job on it. But anyway, he had on his little hospital socks. Both his hands are very dainty and the fingers are open. A very open. And his toes are open enough for sandals all right so all right poke poke he can suck his thumb too uh-uh can you he can suck his thumb as well yeah I, it can be a thumb sucker if you want me to all right so let's get him dressed, get his onesie on, see how he gonna look with these boots cause these boots might be too big or may not really work with this outfit. But the tummy plate, you don't have to take it off because it's a half tummy plate for you guys. So it's a half tummy plate. And I love that they have, he has his little, stitch on his body that says Claire Teller Dolls Aspen Prototype by Miss Serenity Smith. How lovely. <laughs> I love it. Um, so yeah, I didn't do that this time. Claire did it. And Claire Teller did it. And it's, um, it's pretty cool. Now see, I like his belly button to show when um, he's going to have it out. But since he's going to have on a onesie, I just kind of pull it up to support it to make sure it stay good and in place under his clothes. So I'll just put the pamper all the way up on him. There's buttons on the side and I should have unsnapped them because he's probably going to mess up his hair, but that's okay. I didn't feel like doing all that. But yeah, he's a perfect newborn size baby. Like, perfect newborn size. Like, just born. Just came from the hospital, baby. Um, so, for people that really love the newborn size or the smaller babies, he's like the perfect baby. And his head shape is, is nice. Alright. I will be sharing Abby shortly after. Ooh, my back be hurting. That's why I need to put them on the changing table. Because leaning over like this over time kind of can get to you, to your back.
and this is actually like a zero to one month outfit and he's so he's fitting that i really think i should have found him some socks but i didn't um let me make sure i'm putting these on the right way oh okay. yeah so i just i was like let me see what he's gonna look like i've been not wanting to cover him up so I, i've like mostly just shown him not really in clothes he actually have like some of the most perfect newborn shaped legs i really his legs look like my legs when i was a baby so i think i think he has my legs and as you guys know the alex and ashby actually have the same limbs which is nice but they are a little bit bigger than him because of you know when the vinyl go to the warehouse they change it changes them a little bit shrinks down a little bit let's see let's see what we're working with he gonna need some i know he gonna need some um Look at you. <laughs> like, do you put them in? Do you put them out? I don't know. I think this is the smallest size. I can't remember. Let me see what the size is. Yeah, it says newborn. Some, you know, some some shoes just say newborn, you know, the months. And some actually say, like, size zero. I know, like, in the um, baby deer, he'll fit a zero. But I don't think he looked too bad with his boots on. Look at him, baby. Look, baby. Show him, baby. Baby. Um... So, like, all his pacifiers are like this. Like, the nipple is clipped. But, I know this is snow, but it's gray. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it to him. So, yeah. Yeah, so, he actually got, like, you know, how the babies, um... He's, his texture is so cool. He has like these little, um, you know how you have like little sweat bumps a little bit, not sweat, but you know when baby get heated, but it's not milk bumps. <laughs> it's not the milk bumps, sorry guys. Um, on his little nose, he just, it's just, I just love the way he, he turned out. Um, I wasn't sure for a minute cause I was going beyond my normal skin tone so i wasn't sure how he was gonna turn out and then i had a real baby photo of the hair and so i was very specific on the type of hair the type the color hair the style of the hair and i think the um rooting artist did an amazing job doing what i asked exactly you know like I asked for in the photo. So um, we usually work really good together with, that's why I like, you know, dealing with her because she normally um, accomplished the look that I'm looking for. Oh my goodness, I'm so cruel. <laughs> so I just think that, you know, like the binkies, he just looks so, so calm. And um, I think that if you lean him like upwards, sometimes he looks like he's irritated by you trying to wake him up. Like, you know, when you, you, you annoy a baby when they're trying to sleep, he'll have that, you know, that look to himself um, at certain angles. But then in person, he has a very, he'll have a little content baby look. But he, he upset, I get hungry. <laughs> I get hungry. 
But anyway, guys, um, that is that. And if you guys are not um, going to be following us in for the information on their pre-orders, then, um, yeah, if you're not going to follow us on the, um, the pre-orders, then um, you can follow them on www dot clairetelladolls.com um that is her website and you could join her mailing list and i'm sure when the kids pre-orders go out she will send out a mailer to all the people that's on her mailing list and i'm sure she'll also do the same when they when the kids come in so um that is another way that you can follow if you're interested in your own aspen um but yeah, as you guys know, I don't do many prototypes, but I also don't do, um, I do ones that I actually really, really like, and this one I really, really like. So, um, it's pretty cool, but I have to let him be because I have to get back to work and finish up these babies. <laughs> I have my final three customs that I've been talking about for months on my channel <laughs> and I need to go get to work so thanks guys for watching I hope you give this video a thumbs up leave me a comment below let me know what you think and um, yeah we'll see you next time bye bye